Mabuhay! Welcome to Upland Integrated National High School. An Uplander carries the emblem of excellence and humility. Come and join me as I lead you to the school-based management for the school year 2017 to 2020. Upland Integrated National High School prepared the means of verification in assessing and validating school-based management level of practice. Principle number four, management of resources. Resources are collectively and judiciously mobilized and managed with transparency, effectiveness, and effectively. The said principle are divided into five indicators. Indicator number one, regular resources inventory collaboratively undertaken by learning managers, learning facilitators, and community stakeholders as basis for resource allocation and mobilization. Here is the tabular presentation of the system implemented for, for Indicator 1, SIP, AIP, APP, Resource Inventory, where you can see the means of verifications serves as the basis for the SIP, AIP, APP resource inventory. The MOVs for the process are the ways executed by the school for the dissemination of the school's resource inventory. The output shows the outcome produced by the school with the cooperation of the stakeholders. And lastly, the communication that shows the MOVs of the reports of the resource inventory posted in the school info board or the transparency board. Indicator number one, level one, SIP, AIP, APP, resource inventory are divided into four parts, the human, technological, physical, and financial plans. Human development focuses on the pupils and teachers' development, the performance indicator for students and teachers. The Learner's Information System The Summary of Individual Performance, Commitment, and Review Form As indicated in the data, teachers and staff of UINHS perform very satisfactory for the past three consecutive years. Learning Support and Learning Materials The Technological Development Plan UINHS ensure the high quality of education given to our learners. Physical Development and School Titling and the Site Development Plan The School Development Plan UINHS ensure the transparency on the finances. Canteen report is regularly submitted and audited. The MOE allocation to ensure the property allocation and budget. Indicator 1 Level 2 Here is the tabular presentation of the copy of approved enhanced SIP, AIP, APP, and calendar of activities where you can see the MOVs needed for the input, process, output, and communication. For the input, the MOB serves as the basis for the report on the school resource inventory status. The MOBs for the process are the ways executed by the school for the dissemination of resource inventory. The output shows the outcomes produced by the school with the participation of the stakeholders. Lastly, for the communication, reports on resource allocation and mobilization. Here are the MOVs for Indicator 1 Level 2. Approved SIP, Approved AIP, Approved APP, and Approved Calendar of Activities for the past three consecutive years. Indicator 1 Level 3. It focuses on the projects, programs, and activities. Approved Proposals, School Memo, Letter to Stakeholders, Narrative Report, the school monitoring and evaluation activities, program of works, deed of donation, and resource allocation and mobilization plan. Here is the tabular presentation of the system implemented like the previous one presented, the input, process, output, and communication. Here is the means of verification for this level. 
The approved project proposal. This project explains the plan and goals of the activities that the school desires to implement and requests funding from the stakeholders or other resources. Here are the means of verification for the projects, programs, and activities. Indicator number 2. Planning and Resources Programming A regular dialogue for planning and resources programming that accessible and inclusive, continuously engage stakeholders, and support implementation of community education plans. Here is the tabular presentation of the system implemented for Indicator number 2. Level 1. Planning and Resources Programming where you can see the means of verifications. For the input, it serves as the basis for the procurement law. The MOBs for the process are the ways executed by the school for planning and resources programming. The output shows the copy of the resource programming in educational plans proposals. Lastly, the communication shows the MOBs of the approved SIP, AIP, APP proposal submitted for review and approval. Planning and Resources Programming It is divided into three. First, the Procurement Law. UINHS keep a file copy of the revised implementing rules and regulations for Republic Act No. 9184, otherwise known as the Government Reform Act. Second, Orientation on Procurement Process and Utilization of Funds UINHS conducted an orientation to our stakeholders on procurement process and utilization of funds for the transparency. Third is the Bids and Awards Committee and its functions. The BAC shall be responsible for ensuring that the procurement entity abides by the standard set forth by the Act. Here is the tabular presentation of the system implemented for Indicator number 2, Level 2, Planning and Resources Programming. For the input, it is the copy of approved SIP, AIP, and APP. For the process, the ways executed by the school for implementation of the approved SIP, AIP, APP plans. For the output, the documentations of the consultative meeting on the implementation plans participated by the stakeholders. And for the communication, the needed MOBs are the documentation of the consultative meeting posted on the school info board. For the management and resources level 2, it is divided into four. First, the Human Resource Development Plan. The MOBs that you can see are the planning of the school from 2017 to 2018, 2018 to 2019, 2019 to 2020. Here is the Human Resource Development Plan for the school year 2019 to 2020 with the leadership of our principal, Mrs. Emily G. Bisset. Second, the Financial Management Development Plan, where you can see the MOVs of Applet Integrated National High School for the school year 2017 to 2018, 2018 to 2019, and 2019 to 2020. This is to ensure the proper allocation of funds. Third, the Technology Resource Improvement Plan, where you can see the MOBs for the past three years. Lastly, the School Physical Development Plan. And here are the MOBs for the past three consecutive years. School Physical Development Plan become possible with the cooperation 
of our generous and cooperative stakeholders. Indicator 2, Level 3 Here is the tabular presentation of the system implemented for Indicator 2. For input, it is the copy of approved SIP, AIP, APP. For the process, the school memo of special meeting of the school resource management team. Second, documentation of the special meeting. And third, submission of the documentation report and needed procurement document for review. For the output, resource management team report on resource programming and procurement as evidence. And lastly, the communication. Resource management team Report posted in the school info board. UINHS prepared the means of verification for Indicator 2 Level 3, Planning and Resources Programming. It is divided into three. First, Resource Management Team Roles and Function. Second, Updated Database Resource Information System. Here are the MOBs. First, School Memo. Second, the school project team with roles and functions. And the third one is the schedule of procurement. Indicator 3, Resource Management System. In place is a community-developed resource management system that drives appropriate behavior of stakeholders to ensure judicious, appropriate, and effective use of resources. Here is the tabular presentation for indicator number 3, for the input, it is composed of monthly disbursement, liquidation report, the fidelity bond, and the school MOOE. For the process, it is composed of the letter of invitation sent to school and community stakeholders, school memo on the conduct of orientation about school resource management system, and for the output, copy of the approved resource management system signed by the school stakeholders and lastly the communication approved rms posted in the school info board for level one resource management system it is divided into three monthly disbursement liquidation report fidelity bond document and school mooe these are the MOBs of Monthly Disbursement Liquidation Report for both Junior High School and Senior High School for the past three years, school year 2017 to 2019. Upland Integrated National High School followed the scheduled timeline for accomplishing monthly disbursement. The Fidelity Bond documents for school year 2018 to 2019 and 2019 to 2020, Upland Integrated National High School ensure the integrity of the school leaders through having fidelity bond. School MOOE of UINHS for three years back, 2017 to 2018, 2018 to 2019, and 2019 to 2020. Here is the tabular presentation of the system implemented for indicator number 3, level 2, resource management system. For the input, the monthly cash program, approved APP, sub ARO, disbursement documents, schedule of the disbursement. For the process, conduct of the review of existing RMS by the school and the stakeholders. And Submission of findings and recommendation for a review. For the output, report on the review of existing RMS for development participated by the school and stakeholders. And communication, report on the review of existing RMS for development posted in school info board. Resource management system are composed of the following. Monthly cash program, schedule of disbursement versus actual disbursement, approved APP, sub ARO, validated and approved disbursement, disbursement documentation, 
This are the monthly cash program for the past three consecutive years. UINHS uses prescribed guidelines on the direct release of funds. The approved annual procurement plan for the past three years. UINHS followed allocation of budget every year so as to spend the resources properly. Disbursement documents, schedule of disbursement versus actual disbursement, validated approved disbursement. Indicator 4, regular monitoring scheme and reporting process of the school resource management system. Regular monitoring, evaluation, and reporting process of management are collaboratively developed and implemented by the learning managers, facilitators, and community stakeholders. Indicator 4, Level 1 Here is the tabular presentation of the system implemented for Indicator 4, Regular Monitoring Scheme and Reporting Process on the School RMS. For the input, you can see the means of verifications serves as the basis for the Regular Monitoring Scheme and reporting process on the school resource management system. The MOBs for the process are the ways executed by the school for the approved monitoring and reporting system on the school's resource management. The output shows the outcomes produced by the school with the cooperation of the school committee. Lastly, the communication shows the MOBs of the report of approved monitoring and reporting system posted in the school info board for transparency board. Here are the MOBs for indicator 4 level 1. Inventory of resources, asset management plan, memo on acquisition and disposal of supplies, updated MOE, liquidation report and canteen report here is the tabular presentation for indicator 4 level 2 for the input it focuses on the copy of the approved monitoring and reporting system on the school resource management and developed by the school and committee for the process it focuses on the implementation of the monitoring and reporting system for the school's resource management participated by the school and the community. For the output, it is focuses on the review and evaluation report on the monitoring and reporting system of the school resource management participated by the school and the community. And for the communication, it is the report on monitoring and reporting system of the school resource management posted in the school info board. Here are the MOBs for this level. Inventory of machines and equipment. Inventory of buildings and facilities. Updated MOE liquidation. Canteen report. Indicator 4, level 3. Aligned to the rules and regulation of accounting and auditing. Here is the tabular presentation of the system implemented for Indicator 4, Level 3, Resource and Regulation of Accounting and Auditing. For the input, it focuses on the copy of the accomplished annual monitoring of all assets of the school and audited by the stakeholders. For the process, it is the continuous monitoring and reporting system for the school resource management participated by the school and the school community. For the output, it focuses on the report on continuous improvement of the monitoring and report system for the school resource management participated by the school and school community. And for the communication, it is the report posted on the school info board. For the MOBs, the school monitoring and evaluation activities, the state of the school address for the school year 2017, to 2018 the school report card the state of the school address for 2018 to 2019 school report card for 2019 to 2020 and the bulletin or the transparency board indicator 5 
network and leakage system for resource management. There is a system that manages the network and leakages which strengthen and sustain partnership for improving resource management. An engagement procedure to identify and utilize partnership with stakeholders for improving resource management is evident. Here is the tabular presentation of the system implemented for Indicator 5 Level 1. For the input, it is the Partnership Database, School Project Team with Roles and Functions, AIP, Planning Meetings Reporting the Development of Resource Mobilization Management System, Deed of Donation, Resource Inventory, for the process, Letter of Invitation sent to the school and committee member, for the process, letter of invitation sent to school and committee member of resource mobilization team. School memo on the conduct of meeting is crafting the network and leakages system. For the output, copy of network and leakages system for resource management crafted by the school and stakeholders. Network communication, copy of network and leakages system for resource management submitted for review. Management and resources are divided into six. First, Partnership Database. The Department of Education Partnership Database System is a harmonized and simplified data gathering and reporting tool on school external partnership activities. UINHS submitted a consolidated report of donation every quarter. Second, School Project Teams with roles and functions. Third, approved AIP. Approved annual implementation plan. It describes how the key improvement strategies in the school strategic plan and other significant projects will be put into operation during the year and how it will be monitored. Fourth, development of resource mobilization management system. Fifth, deed of donations. Six, Resource Inventory, Indicator 5, Level 2. Here is the tabular presentation for Indicator 5, Level 2, where a planned integrated national high school prepared for the input, process, output, and communication. Here are the MOBs for Level 2, School Project Teams with Roles and Functions. List of generated resources for the past three years. School year 2017 to 2018. School year 2018 to 2019. School year 2019 to 2020. Copy of rules and regulation on resource management. Indicator 5, level 3. Here is the tabular presentation for network and leakages system for resource management where you can see the input, process, output, and communication that have been done by the school. Here are the MOBs for Level 3. Regarding the Escuela Report for 2017 to 2018, where UINHS received a first place for the medium school category district level. Regarding the Escuela Report for 2018 to 2019, in which UINHS got the first place for medium school category for district level and fifth place in the division level. Regarding the Escuela Report for 2019 to 2020, the event is the celebration of the 50th Foundation Day. Next, list of generated resources, followed by school project team with roles and functions and approved AIP for the past three years. Memorandum of Agreement with Partners for the past three consecutive years. All of these are the means of verification for principle number four. Thank you so much and God bless us all.